Hello, hello, and welcome back to some Let's Stream Civ 6, where we're considering buying a new archer. That is a suggestion that came through on chat that I am uh, pretty pretty keen on. My, the reason I haven't bought one down there for them yet is they're sort of, they're dealing with it, um, and I'm thinking that we may need to buy an archer somewhere else. So, yeah, that is a thing. <laughs> Just had dinner. First thing you see, barbarian catapults. Dude, they're coming for my cities. They are coming for my cities. Um, the other the other counterpoint to what I just said, though, is that if the, the faster we deal with this, the faster we can put our military elsewhere, which which may also be needed. So both both have merit, I think. Both have merit. Um, so Rome is worth the most gold. Running an internal trader out here to, just to help him grow might be might be worthwhile as well. Um, I think I like that. This city needs some major, major help. Although they don't even have tiles to do anything with it. So maybe that's not a good idea. Can barbarians take a city? Yeah, they can. Uh, they can raise a city. Kind of unfortunate. Kind of unfortunate. Not as unfortunate as not finding a new continent, but yeah, they they can't actually control a city. That that would be funny though. Let's start being a little bit more aggressive with these things. Yeah, right, Zazu. <laughs> That would be a sad day if that happens. Okay, let's go to Rome. Oh, declaring on England and snagging London from Rome for last hit? I mean, too late. <laughs> I, would, I would never have been able to get there in time. That's someone who works for the federal government. <laughs> that is a fun strat, though, guys. If someone else is assaulting it and you last hit it, it's now yours. So she's still alive somewhere. She's had it rough in most of the games we've we've played, huh? All right. So now we can do this. Yes, yes, there is, Ibis. There is a city state whose uh, suzerain bonus gives full water uh, capacity to any city that's anywhere. So I think you could just found on straight up flatland. But you have to be pretty confident that you're going to maintain them for the rest of the time. All right, I think we are building a crossbow here. Let's go ahead and buy one. I think it's fine. Just deal with this and then prepare for whatever kind of war might be coming along. Are enemy units able to take more damage on deity? Uh, deity, they do get a combat bonus. So. Let's see. Here's, here's all the. Uh, here's all that. Oops. I don't know what the hell that is. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> don't look at that link. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but don't look at it. I meant to link this. That'll show you all the, uh, the differences on the various difficulties. Um, but you can see that... So there's your combat is plus four. So they get plus four strength and whatever. Antoine, uh, I like any I like any uh, leader who can build really good districts. So I tend to say um, Brazil, Germany, Japan. 
are kind of my faves. Sure, sure, Mizumo. All good, man. Um, let's just heal. We'll, we'll let him come come towards us. Hey, Zygmunt. Yeah, I stream pretty much pretty much all day, man. Pretty much all day. Although today is a rough day, and we're getting converted, of course. As long as our core continent uh, keeps our religion, we'll be okay to win with them. All right, so now we got some walls, lots of stuff. Haven't tried Brazil yet. Do you usually go for science with them? Um, yeah, you, you guys can have my email. That's, that doesn't bother me. Uh, you, either science or culture. Um, we haven't really been able to do a solid culture victory since the spring update, though. Alrighty, um, so we can't do any of those things at the moment. We have to repair the holy site first. I think I'm alright with getting the lighthouse as well. It's going to be some food which we need desperately there and some housing capacity. So. Um, London kind of gives us the most stuff still with the uh, culture. God, our science and culture really suck. Those are worth it. Let's just keep going to London. Get the most amount of things. So we're out, huh? We're pretty much out of possibilities for little continents that we can take over. Game just decided to play us a rough deal. Is Gilgamesh next? I actually don't know. Yes? I think so. Gonda, you did Gilgamesh? I mean, that makes sense. All right, um, I think these guys can move up and deal with this now. <laughs> You're excited for Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh is tends to be rated as a very, very strong leader amongst the community. They can fight over this, that's fine. Okay, so ouch, however, that should be plenty. Full domination early with war carts. Tough to do on deity. Um you you do need to tech up. Like the early war is fine, but if it goes too long, you'll wind up screwing yourself. Tamaris is really strong, yeah. If you're going domination, her her ability is quite good. Quite, quite good. Alright, last settler. Let's get down here. Domination by turn 100 with war carts. <laughs> Interesting. Battering ram? Where's the battering ram? Oh, yeah. He wants to come take my city. Barb camp should give us a thousand gold. I agree. I agree, guys. Would we try for one more city up here? Sheep, copper. Could also go here. Could 
technically squeeze that in. It was really going to piss Japan off. But having eight cities would make me feel much more comfortable. Just as far as um, faith generation. You tread on dangerous waters. You think Rome is god tier? Yeah, they're they're quite good. Loyal colonies. Rome is just good at everything. Getting free monuments um, helps you expand your borders, which gives you better districts. You don't have to spend money on that. Like it all, it all snowballs. So yeah, free anything is obviously quite amazing. No, horrific. If he's bothering me, and I'm sorry. He's mad that I timed him out. I don't know what I don't know why he's uh just being dramatic. think the price should gradually increase with the more number of units even though yeah that would, that'd be an interesting mechanic i've never utilized the legion antoine i could see them being good All right, so let's just deal with this and start moving our crossbows. I want to take that battering ram. Uh, do we just set this to explore now? No, because we want to. We want to just double check. I want to double check that there's not some like weird continent that we could maybe squeeze a city on. Yeah, white player. I don't think Quill needs the advertisement, man. I think he's doing fine on his own. And you weren't banned. You were timed out. There's a difference. Do we we don't get we don't get to take it, right? Listen, strange women lying in ponds distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. Okie dokie. Power. So we get Just monarchy now. Um we won't get the housing advantage, not that it really matters. Uh but we will get some extra influence points which will uh be nice for city states. Oh, yeah. Problem here is three military. You gotta get hey Zygmunt, thanks for the uh, thanks for the host, man. <laughs> At least my sound notification's working. First game was with Rome. Got a domination victory with your legions. Nice. Very nice. Okay, we can finally put this stupid thing to rest. And then we want to get to reform church as fast as possible. But yeah, so having to run three military policies right now is a bit of a bummer. Um, what might help? Bastions, perhaps, or 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 line. Let's just build walls. We need walls. So that's that's all good. Quote for the divine right is the best. Yeah. That was my sound notification for hosting. That was a Rick and Morty thing. We're done with settlers. Um, what do we want? Meritocracy. We don't have that many districts, but it'd probably be worth it. And then, do we keep our gold? Do we care about eight gold? I, I guess we probably care about faith a little bit more, or even builders. Uh, 
Um, God, we need more campuses. We need so many things, guys. Hmm. I think builders. We've got new cities. We've got new cities that need some love. Can run conscription for a little bit of money. That'll offset the gold that we lost from the trade routes. I don't think we need the amenity. Normally that's pretty decent. Maybe bastions. Are we just scared? I think we're just scared. Let's just run that. Oh yeah, hosting, like, so you can host other channels. So like, if you're done streaming and you've been hosting all day, you can send all your viewers somewhere. Okay, are you actually repairing this? Is that actually making progress? Sometimes this repair queue Gets all weird and buggy. Should we go here? It's really... It's going to piss him off so bad. I don't think... I think let's take the safe settle. <laughs> it's all good, Zygmunt. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate what you're trying to do. All right. Um, so we're getting across. We kind of need... We need some defenses everywhere. Hopefully we can uh, right this ship with these extra cities a little bit. It's not the towering sails, but the unseen wind that moves a ship. Um, tempted to buy monuments for them to get their borders expanding. Could also buy granaries. Could also buy both. Could be it. No, we still haven't seen the Petra. That's kind of funny. It would have been a pretty good Petra to get. Typically, we see it go before turn 100, so obviously nobody has desert. All right, so we've got our square rigging. Uh, that's going get to get us naval uh, might if we need it. Seems to me that the thing to do, though, is just secure this, secure these cities, and start going for economy. And maybe save... I don't want to save my gold. I, I think that's bad. I'm going to buy them granaries. All right. Well, we can get good ships. What else do we need to work on? We saw that everybody else is pretty much here in the medieval era. So maybe getting niter, finding niter, going for musketmen. Those are boosted, at least. Um, we're out of districts to build. We should get a lighthouse. And then we'll start getting a couple of these. Really feel like Rome is going to just be mad at us. Because they're bullies. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we were making like 430. We were making some crazy gold. Making some crazy gold. Was that yesterday? Or was that, uh, was that with Alexander? I can't remember. But yeah, we did make pretty good gold once upon a time. Okay, do we have walls everywhere? We do have walls everywhere. I think that is important. Although Trajan's going to be really outscaling us as far as uh, production, or as far as tech. Yeah. Quickie, it's, it's true. Our gold doesn't suck at the moment, and it's actually helping us a fair amount. 
Is that Petra? Oh, Forbidden City. I'll laugh if we go this whole game and, and nobody builds the Petra. <laughs> that would make me laugh. Alright, that's enough to deal with this. These guys can come back. You need to go up here so that every city has a crossbow. Probably need some roads internally. Yeah, Zazu, I would like there to be some sort of economic or diplomatic victory. I, I That is something I do miss from Civ Five. When you do your Big Ben race near the end. Wow, 630 for turn for 24 turns. Dear Lord. How do you get that much gold, man? That's crazy. Yeah, this is a crazy stretch of land. I agree. I don't want to fight that. I just want to run away. I've seen this in a couple games. It's actually broken halfway through. Right there. So what are we going to get here? Do I buy him this tile for our holy site? Probably do. I don't see I don't see where else it's going. And I'm gonna buy him that so that their borders expand. That's the most contentious uh, border. You guys have gotten 30k with Big Ben. Dear Lord. That's nuts. Sure, Germany, be friends with us. Hey, we have we have a friend, you guys. Oh my goodness. We don't have anything to trade though. Okay, that was easy. Uh, hi, Yarg. Uh, the conditions for the religious victory is that you convert everybody else to your religion. So you have to be the dominant, predominant religion in everybody's religion or everybody's cities. Okay, um, seems to me like this Varu and this Swordsman might be better utilized over here. And then we just leave a crossbow and walls in each of these cities, and with a navy can maybe just defend it. Ooh. Yeah, Saft. Uh, I don't like to sp spread our religion until we get our discount from Theocracy. So as soon as we get there, it's about 35 turns away, we'll, we'll start spreading our religion. As long as nobody comes and converts our, our capital, we're fine. We just stockpile our faith. Does converting other sieves to your religion make them friendlier towards you? Yes. Yes, it does. Often. Oh, yeah, we do have a scout, don't we? <laughs> Where the hell is that guy? All right, all right, all right, point made. Still not, still not used to it. Still not used to having a scout. Technically put another city over there, too. Sad. Could still maybe be a golden paradise of a continent in there somewhere. Uh, 
Create with the heart. Build with the mind. No, we're not converting Germany. Germ Germany's converted himself to Catholicism. Alright, let's look at this. Yeah, we could still... Theoretically put in another city if we wanted. Yeah, I think Civ 5 is a little more polished, but I like Civ 6 better. I think there's more going on. Alright, um... I'm also kind of a fan of getting medieval walls. It's going to give us housing, as long as we have this government, which won't be for much longer, but... And then we can really, we need to focus on getting some districts. We, we have a lot of needs. Oh no, the dream is ending. No paradise continent. Kagan, what don't you really get, man? Is this enough? Seven cities enough? Oh, guys, the dream is dead. So we got the weird offshoot continent, and then everybody else got to play together. Sad day. Yeah, there's no there's no aqueduct possible here. I mean, you could put an aqueduct in, but it would only raise your uh, population by two. And that's not really my issue right now. Nine population, I mean, whatever. I don't even care if a citizen dies. Their, their issue is production. It's a very, very low production city. Yeah, dip diplomatic. I agree. Why is the game developer not... Uh, not bring those polished things from Civ 5 to Civ 6? That's a great question. Um, they did the same thing when um, when they went to Civ 5, right? They didn't have... Like, it took till Gods and Kings for that game to really feel like a, a, a finished Civ game. So, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, another, another uh, victory type or two would be, I think, well appreciated by everybody. Um, damn. Could do, could do like campus, holy site, campus to boost the holy site. I don't mind that. I mean, we could get, we could get a plus two or a plus one holy site there, but it's not really even that good. I love the art style. I'm a, I'm a I'm a big fan. I I like the way that the map works out. I like that it's old timey and exploratory. You know, obviously we could beauty up we could beauty this up by like turning off the icons and oh look at look at how pretty this game is. Look at how pretty. Not necessarily that, but don't worry about that. Just look at the pretty... Not that either. Just look at the pretty stuff. This game is so pretty. Definitely pretty. But we need those... We need, we need those on for information. Um... I'll buy them a monument too. And then, yeah, I think let's do... Let's do this campus... Like the cartoon style of it. There are probably a bunch of visual mods out there, I would imagine. I haven't really gotten into the mods too much. All right. Let's be friends with Germany. Germany. 
Uh, sure. We want citrus. We have amenity issues. We got we got luxury hosed. Was that Barb Camp ours? I don't see it. We have a 980 Ti. Quickie, like a game like this, um, your graphics card does help with certain things, but most of the speed on this game is going to be decided by your processor because what you're waiting for in between turns are calculations per, per second, and uh, that's, that's just all on your processor, man. You know, the graphics, obviously, you know, your, your graphic card does do work, but... I think most of people's performance comes down to uh, comes down to their processor. Yeah, quad core. It's good. Gives you lots of calculations. I mean, they've come so far with processors and and just computing technology, like. You get a lot of bang for your buck. And even slightly dated tech is really good tech, typically. Okay, so we just got rid of something. Uh, maybe it was this. Oh, it was serfdom. Right. Yeah, let's, let's run serfdom. We have we have much to do. We have much and more to do. Our faith generation is on the pathetic side of things though. So he is already up to cavalry. Rome is very, very scary. So Rome is here. He is in the industrial era. So if he wants to fight, it's not going to go well for us. Yeah, Mustang. It shouldn't be. Blast. Build. Battle. Okay. Um, <laughs> we have these envoys that... Uh, Boy, so everyone's just taking everybody else over, huh? Russia, you're just you're just gonna do this. You're just gonna take over my religious city states. Not cool. Well, that gets us a little bit of gold. Jeb was here this morning, wide player. Albeit briefly. He usually hangs out all day. <laughs> yeah, we really... <sighs> As much as we need to tech up and worry about military and stuff, what we really need to do is have our temples, our watts, and get our faith generation going so that we can start to mass convert people. Um, who's first on that list? So who actually has a religion? This is what we need to ask ourselves. Eastern Orthodoxy is Russia. Buddhism is Japan. And Catholicism is Germany. So it looks like Japan's having a rough go at things anyway, so they might be a good target if we could just wipe out their religion. Um, England's barely hanging on. And then Rome doesn't have a religion, actually, so spreading to Rome is a good idea. All right, Alifant, find me things. Um, I'm going to leave this unit here. Or maybe we should bring it over to our An capital. An enormous and lofty column of flame. 
allowed the people in Holt to read as perfectly. Okay, guys, help me. How do you pronounce this? As if it had been day. What? What? <laughs> what is this? It's cool, the Chile. So, so do I want Rome to buy science from his onions faith? No. But I need to start converting people to my religion. Sean Bean makes this game. Absolutely. <laughs> That's awesome, Mustang. All right, maybe we bring our caravel over to Delhi. Because if Rome, if Rome's gonna invade, it's gonna it's gonna come through our cap, I think. We need some builders. Hmm, I doubt they're willing to give us anything. What's our relationship? Negative 20, negative 8, negative 17. Boy, he's got a lot of, lot of cities. Yeah, he's not willing to give us open borders. I think we're denounced still. Why couldn't we have started over here? Yeah, we're slowly building up the navy. We need we need to get our faith. This needs to this needs to be like two to three hundred per turn. It's gonna be really hard with seven cities. Much more we can do there with the scout. Let's go. Let's go spy on Japan. See what's going on over here. Yeah, Delhi has everything they need. Ooh, great lighthouse. It's not worth all that much. I don't think it's worth 20 turns. I think I'd rather boost up our military. What are all these? Hojo. Hojo and Peter, Russia and Japan fighting. Yep. I mean, that makes sense. They both seem to have a lot of territory over here. This is also a huge chunk of a continent to not have a river. Hey, Ash. How was shopping, dude? Game's going okay. We finally got a couple more cities. Only took us like 200 turns to get there. The real problem is, uh, how are we going to sabotage Trajan enough? It's going to be a race here. Okay. Have a completed holy site. Could technically get a decent campus district here. Might be a decent idea to do. Also, their production blows, but that's not really helping. Get yourself some steak and potatoes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you are. All right, let's do this for our campus. Need to start getting some science, otherwise we're just gonna get melted. And we've got a decent holy site on either of these. Let's 
That's really all I need them to do is produce faith. Aw, England. Let's go up here. neighborhoods already. Oh, we are so behind in this game. I'm allowed to nuke everybody. That's true, I player. That is true. That is an alternate uh, win condition, but our science doesn't allow us much. Polish are from the Midwest. Hey, 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 let's not make fun of those of us who might be both. <laughs> yeah, mostly German. <laughs> Redenounced, so no open borders from Rome anytime soon. If you see a castle under fog, you must walk there to meet the extraordinary dream. You know, I think I want another city. It's a really nice holy site right here. It's not good for much else, but it might be worth... Okay, so this allows us medieval walls, which may, we, we may want to build as we just kind of let our faith accumulate. It's a, a decent way to defend ourselves, and we could go all the way up to Ren walls if we wanted. Alternative is to start to work towards more navy stuff, but it's pretty far pretty far. We're sort of at a threshold here with the frigate. So maybe we go after education for universities. Could spend faith on on some of that. Kind of like this. I know they're working this tile. Oh, I guess let's get a builder. That's right. We need builders, don't we? We're, we're running serfdom. Let's try to make these cities not suck as much as they do. Let's run this for a while. And come back to that. That's part of what's holding us back, is our cities are quite, quite bad. Ooh. 25 turn builder? No, thank you. No, that's that's not good at all. Twenty three turns, ugh. Oh no, <laughs> we got penned in. No, our scout, our scout got pushed the wrong way. I'm talking about this city. Yeah, we know it's not good. Didn't have a whole lot of options. Right on, man. See ya. All right. Mm. 
Dude, we are not gonna fight you. Not even a little bit. Goody hut. <laughs> uh, I mean, is it really worth moving my military for a goody hut at this stage? I think I'd just rather not die. This makes me sad. We'll just sit here. Damn it. Took my idea. Yeah, I would love to see a diplomatic victory. I can't think of what else they, they would do. What other possible victory strats could they go with? I think you'd have to invent, like, new systems. Wouldn't work in multiplayer. That's true. But that's not that big of a deal. I think, I think that they should... I mean, I think it's a single-player game first, personally. But that might, that might be biased, because that's just how I play it. Alright. I was going to explore, but now I just... I, I don't want to. Close game is super slow. Is he still playing as, uh... Cyrus? My game is bad, Cry. We uh we got we got the shaft today. We got the shaft. A very 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 poor start. Do you think he's going to betray me? Do you think he's going to betray me? Because I do. It's Trajan that I should be terrified of, though. So, our Y player, our game is, uh, unfortunately. I was explaining this. I was explaining this at the beginning of the uh, of the beginning beginning of the stream. Um, I uploaded the Persia game last night, and you can just set it to record when you go to bed, and then it's all uploaded in the morning, and it's great. And then at like two in the morning, I got an email saying you've used ninety percent of your data this month. So, apparently, uploading stuff to YouTube and streaming all day, every day, is uh, bad for your bandwidth. So, yeah. Yeah. We're, uh, we're not going to be able to get that Germany game online for a little bit. It's going to be at least till next week. Unless I can figure out how to get some more bandwidth in the meantime. Later, cry. See you, man. I'll feel better, honestly, just with a couple ships. I, st I still think we go to Rome. Well, London, Rome. I could move this. We could run internal stuff over here. Maybe we do that. I'll transfer you over here. I should have gone here. Germany betraying us would be really painful. Ice, ice green, or icy green. 
Welcome. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a nice Wednesday. Multiplayer and Deity are two different games, right? Because you, you don't have to, like, people start with the same resources you do. So, yeah. I think it's completely different. All right. Got a builder. We can deal with some stuff. Get some mines. Do a choppy chop. I think I think I want to get them an industrial zone. Start with that. I'm, I'm going to chop this. Okay, and then... Yeah, I actually meant to make you go here. This city needs the help the most. Multiplayer's easier. I mean... I guess I wouldn't know. Yeah, that's true, Y player. Multiplayer, you, uh... Crush your opponents with military, and in, in in deity, you just take advantage of the dumb AI. Oh, we do have a mine here. Hmm. Multiplayer can be really competitive. Aren't there like leagues basically? Aren't there aren't there like real intense multiplayer things that people do? Alright, so here we want to run there. As much as I would like the extra food, and that might be the thing to do. I think let's just get the road so that our military can defend itself better over here. As you get classic RNG and, and every single Civ declares war for their hidden agenda at the same time. That's true. We've had games like that. We've had games where we've been wiped out on like turn 50. Feels bad. Okie dokie. Um, we could do more military. I think that medieval walls here would be fine. And then I think we're going to bring you over. Just let's keep an eye on the seas. of education is to replace an empty mind with an open one. I I agree. That that's a major thing too. So why player says I think they should change some agendas on leaders. I would at least like there to be a pool. I would like so this she always has sun never sets and I think the hidden does the hidden change? I don't know if it does or not. I've never seen it often enough to know if it changes. I think the hidden agenda can change. Um, but I would like there to at least be a pool on both of them. So you're not getting the exact same thing every time. Like, I don't know, one one game she likes this, and then the next one it's totally different. She likes coastal whatever. Um, I think that that would bring a lot of variety into your your day-to-day -day thing because you see, you see the same leaders every single game, and their their behavior doesn't change that much from game to game. The hidden does change every time. See, yeah, yeah I, that's, I did feel like that that that's been our experience but even then like i don't know it's just silly i i really do think they should change that all right what are we getting next guys maybe ren walls to to make us live possibly But that's something they could do that would easily, easily spice the game up quite a bit. 
in my estimation. Um, I'm gonna send this one overseas, I think. Our new cities need some major love. Those are good tactics, dude. There's nothing wrong with those tactics. All right, let's get the uh, amenity resource and uh, let's let's continue to maybe trade with Germany. Would you like a horse? You don't want a horse, Victoria. Would you like a horse? You're that's like queen-like. You're you're probably an equestrian. I don't really want to trade with this dude. Probably doesn't need it either. He's willing to pay a little bit. Hojo? No. All right. Well, soon we'll have more resources and maybe we can get some, some trading going on. Um, what do we do with our envoys? Oh, they're back. They got liberated. She's been nice to us. She's just gotten bowled over every game. Oh, no, I, we really just need a religious city-state. Because they'll always allies with you? The moment when you wish Persia was in the game. No. No, no, no. We're tired of them. That's true. Our Cleo game was pretty awesome with the uh, gold and, and the owning of a continent. We enjoyed that immensely. So one turn and we'll have our industrial zone. It's very nice. Should be working the food tile at the very least. Ooh, okay, good. Um, give me more money. Lame. So, all right, well, we can get rid of our, we can get our scout back. Cleo's all over the place, but she's got a nice portrait. Yeah, oh no, we still can't get out. Son of a. Help. <laughs> so annoying. Okay, um, <laughs> oh man, all right, let's get more builders here. We have plenty of work to do with builders. So, yeah, that's fine. I'd like this to be added in. Uh, 
See how much better these cities are? They're catching up so quickly. I have friends in both places. It's amazing what we can do with territory that isn't just the worst. All right, cool. We have Reformed Church, so we can actually start the process of winning this game. Um, we could also just wait. So let's think about this. We have, oh, we only have 10 now, right? Obviously we want, we want to run reform church when it's time to buy a bunch of apostles and things, but we're still sort of in that generation phase. Seems to me like we could wait a little bit. Trajan, Trajan's the big threat. I guess we could just get working on it. I know, man. It's called being behind, going for a religious victory. Well, let's let's switch into it. Can at least start working on this stuff. Um. Serfdom, I think I still want to run for a little bit. This is good for faith, and then we also would like the Holy Site Adjacency bonus, but let's just run with this for now. This took a little bit of money. I guess we can run that over Bastions at the moment. This is fine. Religious is when you don't have uh, when you don't have craziness going on. All right, so we can start with apostles. You can see how cheap they are thanks to our double discount, and we kind of want to send them out as a squad so that they can fight other religious units if need be, and also a tiny bit of conversion at a time doesn't do anything for you. So you need to do it. All at once. I think we want to run towards triangular trade now. We have a fair amount of trade routes. Extra gold and faith would be nice. So they've got some good tiles here now. Can maybe trade? Did we already trade with you? That is a good trade. Doesn't want that because he already has it. Let's see if Victoria wants it. She doesn't have very much money. Hojo? He's got him too. I don't want to trade with Trajan at all. That's a pretty, pretty good amount of gold, though. Let's do it. This is uh, Continents Ice Green. This is Small Continents Deity. Normal speed. Yeah, I'm bummed out we didn't get this city now. This would have been nice. He shouldn't have settled on that, though. You can still get a good holy site here, though. So I guess it's okay. There's your Petra. Two hundred. It's 100 turns late. Sad day. Guess we should have tried for it. All right. So, um, Indulgence Vendor is the choice here. It's not that good, but it's also crafty if you're behind in a lot of ways to uh, convert barbarians that might be more advanced than you. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy the university. Since we're running this, our purchase of um, any building is, is discounted, so... We 
all know the Petra was built in the 15th century. Indeed, sir. Indeed. Mm, I think they're okay on trade routes. What do we do? I think we need to get some roads here. Okay, so Delhi. Delhi could get a bad industrial zone, but that might be worth it. They already have a trade route, so the commercial hub doesn't do anything. There's also no river for it. The other thing they could do is just build more military. I think let's take the industrial zone. It's not good, but could also put it on top of the step wall and it would be a plus two. Could also put it here, leave the step well, and eventually it would be a plus two. Could just put it over here and it would get plus one from this and then boost these. Maybe I like that the best. I do like that the best. I also like getting another builder for them. Alright, so this apostle is ready. This one needs a promotion. Um, debater's okay. Everyone should have four, four spreads thanks to our religion yeah I didn't feel like we could found a, a Petra city with the express purpose of that this game I, I felt like we, we were way too far behind with everything else unfortunately alright so I was thinking about getting simply getting this road intact and then we need to we need to hook them up as well so, yeah, I think we're going to do a couple internal ones here. Although we can go elsewhere and still build the road through them. Could get three gold there. Sendai is worth three. Go to the German capital. What does that trade route look like? Still runs through there. There we go. There we go. That's the best one. Missionaries to spread to my own cities. I mean, these cities already have it. We're lacking down there a little bit, but it'll, it'll convert eventually. Um, and then at this point, we need apostles to get rid of Catholicism. These, these cities can honestly just generate faith for us, and we can buy the units over here. That sound was yet another apostle. Order's okay. I don't know if we want to deal with Rome. I don't I don't want to convert Germany because they're the only people that like us, and he's not gonna like us spreading religion to him. 
the 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 perk of doing of doing Rome is that he won't fight us. We might find other apostles that will fight us along the way. The downside of that is that other sieves might try to reconvert him. Okay, um, that just adds production. We need to get some food for them. So let's buy that. Yes, that is true. Missionaries can't be killed unless they have uh, military units on the same square. I think that's still true, Ash. I think that's working as intended. This dude's ready. You can come over here. Give me something good. Ooh, proselytizer. All right, we may wind up saving that. We may wind up saving that particular unit. reason you want to save proselytizers is they are the best unit because they eliminate the other religions in the target city. So when you're going up against somebody who already has a religion in a particularly high population city, 14 citizens, 12 of them are Catholic. So it would just wipe out all of this. It doesn't necessarily auto convert them to us, but it is extremely strong. J Magna, that's uh, it's a mod called CQUI. There are very, it's very, very helpful to have all this information. Think that they have had a bargain unless they have cheated a merchant. Do when you hover over your cities and citizen manager shows up transparently? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, just a mod. All this is a mod. This looks different because of that. It's uh, it's free in the Steam Workshop, so you can just grab it. Grab it if you like, sir. Bapu. Yeah, I think this one we're gonna save. Let's just have you chill out. You can buy many, many more. Probably buy them here too. Don't you have your... Yeah, they're fully upgraded on the holy site. So as long as they have the uh, the mosque, you can produce them anywhere. Yeah. 
You've never won a religious victory? You suck at it? Yeah. It's pretty easy if you're like Arabia and you get a free religion. And he also benefits, uh, he also synergizes well with science. So, it's not not too tough to do if you've got the right leader. Gandhi, it's just too hard on Gandhi without having a uh, unique holy site. Um, hmm. I guess let's just take that. Translator's also very, very good. Nice. All right. So there's our holy site. Um, we don't really want a pagoda. I mean, I guess we do. We can we can build it when we're done. Yeah. So Russia. Russia is a bit of a problem. In fact, it looks like they're coming for us. So what we may want to do is get some apostles in the water over here and fight them. Usually players, Samaria, Greece, Rome, Aztecs. Yeah. Yeah, those tend to be rated highly amongst uh, Civ players. I like the religious victory. I mean, they all seem a little samey after a while. I can't build that one? Oh, because this guy's already here. Uh, we can actually grab Pilgrim with our own wonder there. So they're starting to get a little expensive. We can afford a couple more with this first wave. Probably try religious with Arabia. Yeah, so it's super strong, super super strong. Not to be too much of a homer, but I like America. I was looking at America earlier. They're uh, they're interesting. I can't figure out if they're really good or just kind of meh. So yeah, this doesn't matter. Let's go kill some apostles. I'm gonna go there. Want this guy. Um, he's a pilgrim too. Okay. There you go. Get out of here. Get out of here, Russia. I'm tired of you influencing my elections. That's right. That's right. You believe in the elephant. Really crappy promotions. That's why I love Yerevan so much. I wish America was stronger. I loved the Minutemen in 5. The Minutemen in 5 were really, really, really good.
Yeah, I think that America would be more viable. Um, they kind of they kind of split you up with their bonuses, and I don't I don't like civs that do that. I really want to specialize on deity. Um, but I, I feel like the film studio is quite good, and uh, we we've we've recently come to appreciate the, the the flight battles, the airplane battles and stuff. So. Yeah, man, Minutemen, Minutemen were disgusting. I felt like the unique units in Five were better. Am I wrong? It just felt like um, I don't know. They have more of an impact. Like, unless you're getting war carts in this, like, I just don't feel like the unique units are that good. I mean, Scythia, okay, you build double. That's obviously interesting. But none of the other ones really come to mind. I guess Arabia's horsemen. Are there knights that heal? I mean, that's pretty cool. Yep. <laughs> samurai? You, you really like the samurai a lot? Heck yeah, dude. Let's be friends. Okay, uh, what else are we doing here? Um, so we've got the one. Is also fun and terrifying at the same time because you figure out exactly how far behind everybody you are. Religious victory seems more enjoyable. I like I like when we when we play Arabia, you'll you'll see a good run, I think, at a at a religious victory. This this might have been okay, except we got hosed on our opening location. Ooh, there's a um German Catholics here. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to fight you there, pal. Fight you on open ground, though. But yeah, I do enjoy I do enjoy all of this mechanic with the apostles and whatnot. It's a fun life to live. Berserkers are shit as well, like in a bad way, or like they are the shit. Worst unit in the game. Okay, yeah, I'm like I can't see the berserkers being good. I felt like they just tried to steal League of Legends and make Olaf. Australia's unique building is OP. Do, Jay, do you mean the uh, tile improvement? The um, whatever it is, because it because yeah, that's really good. The um, what the hell is it called? Oh no, he got us. He got us, coach. Out of religion, so whatever apostles we have are the ones that are doing the Lord's work right now.
the yeah, the Outback Station. Super good. Super good. Yeah, the Aussie culture bomb too. I'm glad that they incorporated that um, a little bit with the newer leaders, but still, I don't think it's particularly useful. You had a Petra and Uluru, which is this, as Australia. That's crazy good. That's super, super good. The lowest is to attack a city. Siege of a city is only done as a last resort. I actually don't want to be next to this guy, do I? Major defeat. We just don't want to be... We don't want to let him attack us from on ground. So this is actually okay. And then why don't you go there. And hide. But yeah, we had a, we had a Mustang... Were you there when we did the Germany game where we had Petra and Uluru? It was crazy. That is this one, right? Yeah. Okie dokie. So we finished our Renaissance walls. So we can get those to help sustain a siege. Kind of like going to industrialization now just for the mine improvement. What is this? Is that Rur? Is that the is that the making of my favorite No it can't be, there's no river. What is this? Oh the Christo. Okay. Pretty weak when you don't have the right units. Okay, let's put a step well in there. Step well, pretty good. Coming around on the uh, unique tile improvements a little bit. Um, Poland or Macedon worth or not? Um, I don't think Poland is. I don't think Poland's particularly useful. It's one of the, one of the couple games in this challenge that I'm dreading. Um, what a jerk. Major defeat. Uh, but Macedonia is really good. Alexander is quite strong. Oh, nice. He is a debater. I don't want to be close enough where he can fight me. I guess he could fight me from there. That's bad. It's 
Stave off these dang Russians. Ha. Huh. There we go, finally. Probably in mid-game, though. Um, I mean, the, Alexander's benefit is really just the people that he doesn't suffer war, war weariness. That's, like, I think why you play him. Um, and that's kind of good throughout the game. Yeah, I think he is a geared a little bit more towards mid-game um, than a lot of other people, which doesn't really work on Deity. But um, <laughs> thanks, Ebus. Appreciate it, man. Have, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Um, yeah, fighting in the mid-game and Deity doesn't really work that well, or at least I haven't found a way to make it work that well. But... Other than that, he's pretty strong. I don't like that he has two unique units. I think that's silly. All right, I do have a couple apostles nearby, but we don't want to die. Gonna heal up these units if we can. Make inquisitors and let the enemy apostle spread. You can clear their religion again. Yeah. Could also just not. I mean, because that would take more faith. And if we just kill them with our units and then heal our units, we don't spend any extra faith, and we still get the apostles. Hey, lone wolf. It's been an okay game so far. A little bit rough. We did get a religion, which was step one, but. Uh, the steps between this and profit are evading us slightly. All right, this city's good. I don't want to take two attacks. I'm just going to leave these guys. Let's see what these do. Yeah, I'm not really... I'm just... We're sort of waiting for our faith. We're, we're just economizing here, guys. We're around with his, frankly. It doesn't really cost me anything to do this. Does this guy have... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Thanks, Digital Penman. Taking off, man. Enjoy your day. Guess we'll get them. Guess we'll come closer by a little bit. All right, Plymouth is converted, so we have a few Roman cities. Rome's going to be a bit of a task.
Oh, right on, man. Hope work was good. All right. Let's move up with all these guys. Because we can. Hmm, proselytizer. Got a couple of those now. So, these guys are healing, right? Oh, we didn't lose him. Very nice. Did they heal? I can't tell. Yes. Okay, good. Very nice. All right. You're too far away. You are not. So we can go back in here and then fortify. Wouldn't it be worth it just to send missionaries east? Um, you mean for... You mean for Rome? I mean, yeah, possibly. Until they get wind of us and then kill my missionaries and then we lose all the progress we made. I, I, I really don't build missionaries, typically. I, I like my apostle game. You had a single Inquisitor remove eight charges, eight apostles. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Digital, we're just trying to uh, we're just trying to eke out a religious victory. We had a really rough start. We got an island with no, I mean, basically no rivers, bunch of desert tundra. This is where we started, and then we just now, I don't know, within the last twenty turns or so, founded these new settlements. And then we're just trying to uh tech up with some faith and and win by by converting everybody to a religion as you do so you're a proselytizer and so are you so we've got a couple of those that's um very 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 valuable All right, I'm, I, I can consider. I can consider getting down with an inquisitor. Can I even build them though? What am I missing for inquisitors? Oh, you promote it to inquisitor, right? Right. Um, I gotcha. I gotcha. All right, this is another one that we're saving, I think. That's my standard tactic. I mean, I don't know. We we, we seem to be we, we seem to do pretty well with both faith and militaristic lately. Um, but yeah, usually usually I was splitting between science and faith. Works out pretty well for us usually. So did did he take that? He took the stone and cleared it. He likes grasslands. Interesting. Oh, he finished it. Please don't come fight me. I can't handle that. <coughs> Pardon me. I forgot my water.
It lasts the entire game? Wait, are you serious? <coughs> they eliminate the presence of other religions in their territory and initiate theological combat. Um, where do you see that it lasts the whole game? That's really crazy, if that's true. That doesn't even seem right. Come on, that can't be true. I don't need to do it here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I know you can permanently make an Inquisitor. Yeah, yeah. That I'm down with. I thought you meant, like, the effect lasted all game. I'm like, no, come on. No way. Yeah, we could certainly use some Inquisitors over here. But I also don't really care that much. Rome is surrounded. All right. Toronto? Rome, you're a big bully this game. So we have three Roman cities. Wow, so he's wiped out Hojo's religion? Sucks to suck, Hojo. Oh, he's got Buddhism up there. One city with it left. Just make sure the Inquisitor is made with your uh, religion, yeah. Yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever used the Inquisitors, really. But yeah, here's Toronto. <laughs> Remove all your capital's religion and replace it with an enemy's. No. That's the worst. Raging got my my wonder, my favorite wonder. What a jerk. Oh, it's just, this thing cannot make up its freaking mind. Let's see, all right, we have we do have five envoys. Um, Sans, do they do? Ah, it's just commercial hubs with them. We don't have those this game. We only have the harbors. So I guess I don't know. We could take some extra science. There's nothing else for us to do with our with our dudes. Why'd I allow the apostle to get to my land? 
I mean, they kind of have their own agenda, dude. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't invite them. I wasn't having a dinner party, and I was like, "Hey, come spread your religion. Talk to me about theology while we eat some chicken wings." But we'll take care of them. Don't, don't you worry. Promise fulfilled. Yay, Japan won't hate us so much. Humanity is like an ocean. If a few drops of the ocean are dirty, there we go. The ocean does not become dirty. So we get a shipyard um, for some extra production here. That's a very, very good idea. And I'm just going to buy that mosque. It'll pay for itself. Oh no, we're still, never mind, we're still building stuff. I just click on that thinking that they're telling me to do stuff. They're just telling me that they're lacking amenities. All right, come over here, fortify. Are you fortifying? You guys aren't healing. Heal. Eat. Last charge. Nice. Got one more there. Just asking. Oh, I don't know. Um, there was a bonus for mutilating him in front of your sits. <laughs> Yeah, man, their apostles show up, and we, we kill them, and then we mount their head on a stake to send a message to the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, that's something they added in, is, is that you can heal them, but it doesn't, it seems real wonky. You saw these other ones getting healed, but we're, they're, like, not getting healed here. And they have the two options, so it's really annoying. Nice. So that first wave did uh, five, six Roman cities. That's not too bad. And then hopefully the pressure from those will help start spreading. Yeah, I just want you to heal. I want all these healed up while we continue to amass some faith. Yeah, England got pretty wrecked. England got totally wrecked. Do you have to place them in a holy site to heal? Uh, this one healed in our capital. That's a good question. Could try that. Let's just see if they, if they heal now. City center or holy site? Okay, well, so then this one should heal. Let's see if it happens. This one healed. These ones did not. Fortify until healed. Want to know. So that one healed, so you don't you definitely don't have to be in the holy site. Um sure, build a pagoda. Why not? I'm gonna wait till these guys are all ready to go out together. A 
adjacent to holy site? Okay, that could be it. That could be why these guys aren't healing. That I would believe. Let's see. Because I do want to figure out this mechanic. It's been bugging me in the past. Yep. Alright, so you have to be adjacent to the holy site. I meant to say fortified till healed. I think that's the one that actually works. Hey, Cry. Uh, yeah. I will I'll gladly enlighten you. Let me teach you the ways of the great Bapu religion. First off, our mascot's a, 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 an elephant head. Are you interested in an elephant head religion? Because you should be. Clearly the best type of religion. I'm going to buy this both defensively and because I want them. Uh, we also, we have Taco Tuesdays. So, I don't know if your religion has Taco Tuesdays, but we do. Any black foxes? Yeah, we're growing the follower account. It's quite nice. Bring apostles and knights ever convert or die. Um, and then also you get, um, we've got some discounts running with local businesses where you can get, uh, like a cheap, cheap oil change if you like. Um, yeah, these are worth buying. That is a piddly amount of gold for a bunch of science. Um, what else do we do, guys? Yeah, exactly, Ash. Like they're very. Th that was my that was my logic, right? Like he's sending over apostles. We can kill him, heal back up, and then just go back out. And he's wasted it, and we don't have to waste a single charge to do it. We can just bully him, Knight at the Roxbury style. How close are we to victory? Not very close. Not very close. We uh. We don't even have our self converted to, to our Bapu religion. But that's just because we're lacking these three cities. Not to worry about it. Jay's going to play as Arabia. I like it. I like it. Yeah, we just need to get our faith way, way, way higher. The issue is going to be science. See, Trajan's already started spaceports. So remember last game when everyone's like, oh, you're winning by so much. Oh, you win the game. It's so easy. Well, this is what normally happens. It's turn 224. He's got his space port already, and he's starting the Earth satellite. So him getting to space is the actual threat here, which means we need spies. We need spies. We need to sabotage him. Good thing is we're moving through his land. Looks like he's either building one there that's already sabotaged. Um, but yeah, we need to start the counterintelligence portion of this game, otherwise we lose. Yes, I will, uh, I will actually show you my religion cry. <laughs> we grab Jesuit education, holy order so we have cheaper apostles, mosques so that we have an extra spread on everything, and then world church, uh, which is going to help our culture along as we, uh, convert Rome. Yeah, usually two, two, by turn 250, it's over on Deity. Yeah, we, we just scaled really well last game, and Germany's so good. So, it was kind of a... I, would, I don't want to say an easy win. We played well, but... You know. We had that game under control. Versus this one, we had just such a garbage, garbage start. I do wish we would have gotten the Petra City. That would have made everything much, much better, but it, I just couldn't risk that. All right, let's put a cut in here for now, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it.